showing a big interest. She, uh, he was Sorry. showing a big interest on this, on our matrix model. So uh, the, uh, we kind of uh, get some ach achievement, but uh, I'd like to share uh, the proposal here today. First is that uh, Getty would like to uh, contribute uh, their infrastructure to the chaos uh, to set up the whole uh, 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 service platform. And, uh, and all the metrics model would be hosted or supported by chaos. Uh, so uh, Getty per se will not uh, implement any um, any metrics model not supported by chaos. So, um, and also this service platform it will not only support for Getty uh, projects, but also will support for the other projects hosted on the GitHub, GitLab, or many other projects. So, and once this uh, platform is set up, um, actually, uh, they would like to use in the metrics model they already implemented and and um, and to to mirror uh, the, all the projects hosted on the Getty. And uh, so for some other projects like host on the GitHub or GitLab, they only need to file a requirement to 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 us. And uh, we can help them to set up the related mesh model dashboard. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah. And so we and, could deploy some, like some of the metrics models that you've been building in Grimoire Lab could be deployed then. <clears throat> exactly. exactly. Yep. And also, uh, so far we have uh, uh, they have set up a uh, 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 test environment for this infrastructure. And we have been working on this verification for, for the community activity tryout. Um, the, we actually we select 10,000 projects hosted on the Getty to see what is going on. Oh. The, the standards we pick up, it's uh, <clears throat> just the simply following the, the star count and four count. To, to let us to show that uh, the first 10,000 uh, most active projects host on Getty, how they uh, uh, how, 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 how they're going and working with uh, uh, our metrics model. So after uh, it's trying out, it's working well, and, uh, and we would like to try more metrics model under this uh, uh, platform, uh, test platform actually, because currently we, we haven't set up the uh, front end. We just using Google Map as a, uh, together with the Elasticsearch as a back end. So is, in the future, in the next two, uh, yes, yes, please share. Is there a, <laughs> do, you have a do you have a, this is a very basic question, but it, it, it gets to my next question. Do you have? Is there a login system that's included with the test system? Uh, so, so far, so that, we, we don't have yet. We, we so, just have using SSH. Okay. To so that, to connect. Sure. So that the Google we we do have a Google Summer of Code project on Augur, which is to create a SSO. So that uh -huh. the idea is that anyone could sign in. Log in. log in to Augur or Grimoire Lab on a hosted instance, very similar to software as a service, and then enter the repositories that they want to follow. We would keep track of their list, and we would also not duplicate so that if five people requested to look at I don't know, so I, uh, jQuery would be a good example. Then yep. we would have we would keep the jQuery data one time, and er, those five people would have access to it in their account. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So I think yeah, I, I like this is a great this is a great idea to have a hosted instance like this, and it's awesome that Giddy's willing to provide the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that would be great. We can use this uh, output to to uh, to as a as a logging. 
login system into mm-hmm. this such service. Okay. Yeah, and uh, and in in the next two months or or maybe more time, we need we, we kind of need time to design the whole uh, front end of the SaaS platform to make it uh, suitable for all different kind of uh, code uh, host the platform like Gate and GitHub and GitLab. So mm-hmm. of course the first uh, requirement should be met by Gate, and of course the Gate and GitHub it's kind of similarly like each other. It's quite it's quite easy for us to um, to integrate more uh, hosting platform. We've the um, plan- in, yeah. In, in, yeah, I think I think in Augur we've we've mapped the um, so. We're a little bit different in Grimoire Lab in so far as we actually map discrete columns of data in a relational database. It's not better, not better or worse, but for this task, it's more useful because uh, we do have maps of what are the what are the constructs in the GitLab API that map to the same data points in a schema for GitHub. So we we could ultimately do the same thing for Giddy, but and my point is I could I could point out where we've done that mapping for GitLab GitLab to GitHub in a single schema. It, but it's also pretty obvious that these are not complex JSON objects. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, our <clears throat> our service SaaS service not uh, should not uh, restrict it to to Grim Lab only. If some metric model already implemented by Augur or some metrics implemented by Augur. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really we're coming to involve the gate auger in, uh, integrated into this SaaS, SaaS, SaaS platform. Once it's a, it 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 could work as a as a metrics model anyway. Okay. Um, yeah. I think I think for the auger integration, let's just have a, a brief conversation off, offline, Yahooey, mm-hmm. and we yeah. can yeah. coordinate that. So, so this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for um, really pursuing this discussion, Yuhui, with Giddy. Um, so, I, I guess I have a couple of questions. So, one is, um, how? So, it sounds like you are currently working with Giddy on this test platform with yes. these ten thousand projects, and Grimoire Lab is kind of the engine. That is it's providing. a back end. Okay, yes. it's the back end. Um, how, from a from a person perspective, how are you how, how are you doing this? Like, is it people from Giddy and and people from there? And, there are, there yeah. are several people from uh, from Giddy to help us to set up this okay. infrastructure test platform. Okay. Uh, and uh, currently, it's just a backend platform, of course. Okay. And uh, and the people from Huawei, uh, me and Chen Qi, mainly involved into okay. this uh, tryout because, as you know, Chen Qi and I kind of f- familiar with matrix model and together with Quorum Lab. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And also, actually, there's nothing to do with uh, Huawei so far. Okay. So we are totally working as a uh, at chaos community together with uh, with KT. Gotcha. Yeah, and in the future, so this platform would, uh, as I mentioned, uh, so this 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 service platform would only work. Uh, I mean, deployed the metrics model provided by chaos, nothing yep. else. Okay, so then, do you, with you and Chang Chi, is there is there community work that? you think needs to be done to help support you yeah, that's, like, like more people more people looking at Grimoire, more great. people looking at auger like how it, it doesn't yeah. seem like it would be this meeting or it doesn't seem like it would be the metrics model meeting yeah, it seems like the, something else yeah maybe in the community meeting we can work on more people from from our community to okay. help us to design the the SaaS, the SaaS, SaaS yeah. platform, especially from the uh, from end yep. perspective. Yeah. Okay, um, and, I, and, I, and I think you know from a design perspective, there's um, yeah. If uh, if the SaaS platform has multiple deployments, 
that's 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 a way to help. I think the work with the single sign-on that we're doing, you may be using a different single sign-on, but it might be useful to to look at to look at that. So once once you have something that's uh, open sourced, I presume on Getty, then it, then I think it will be easier for us to contribute, like for the community to asynchronously contribute pull requests and things um, to it. If that's if that's something that you have in mind for this. Uh, and and uh, also actually from our point so initial actually the initial idea is that we like to quickly set up the prototype of this okay. uh, platform okay to, right. to let to let you guys uh, i mean the people from our community to say how it works uh, and uh, the goal is for we, we actually have different goals to meet different perspectives um, requirement for the chaos uh, we would like to broadcast our metrics model and like more community managers and and uh, project owners to try out our metrics model friendly yeah so it's quite very difficult for for them to to set up those infrastructure uh, and the deployment work done by themselves yeah absolutely uh, yeah. yeah absolutely that's that's why we're looking at the single sign-on hosted auger yeah. instance so yeah um, and and also we would like to collaborate with uh, with the uh, 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 professors like like shane and matt and also uh, the professors from uh, in china like liang and other teachers to run it out to try out their metrics model and finally they uh, would uh, contribute back to the community to the chaos community so we oh, provide awesome such, yeah such platform to help them to verify the metrics model and for the uh, you know for the um, code hosting platform like gaty they are looking for the solution to help them to help yep. the projects to to marry to their 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 projects the status. Yep. No, absolutely. That sounds really promising. Yep. So in order to achieve all those goals, we have to making sure uh, the SaaS platform is uh, independently, not uh, you know, hosted by any companies, but uh, I would like to host it by our community to say, okay, this is uh, our community's uh, service. And of course, some other, um, you know, institutes from different, uh, even for, uh, from co co corporations or companies or un any other organizations, they can use our service to do any sales, just the public. Yeah. Public yeah, I th I think um, I know I know Matt and I are pursuing some resources to have basically it's server infrastructure to mm -hmm. to host something like this and then some of the login features that I mentioned and I think if the software as a service also had a sort of like similar to what GitHub GitLab does which is you know if you like this open source software as a service you can deploy it yourself although the idea I think is if we can, if if we can provide something as easy as Cauldron, but with the richness of Grimoire Lab and or mm -hmm. Augur, I think that's what people really want right now. So, um, we should we should. I, I this is great. This is awesome. Yeah. Um, so what? So this is yeah. I agree. <coughs> Hopefully, I'm capturing the conversation here in the minutes pretty well. This is helping me a lot. I tried to capture the goals. I tried to kind of capture any questions we have. Um, the, the one thing, the next thing for me is from your perspective, you know, Yuhu, your Cheng Chi, like what are the next, like what are the things that need to happen? And it sounds like a couple can happen in parallel. Mm -hmm. So for example, um, I'm looking me personally, specifically at this, like how do we, we we need to build community around this and think of, think about the tools we need the 
coordination we might need, um, the people we might need to reach out to, say, for example, who are working on Grimoire Lab, to let them know that this is occurring, um, offer it as an opportunity to folks, say, in um, in Chaos Africa. You know what I mean? That just try to try to build community around um, helping get work done. And so that's that's a whole thing by itself. Um, it sounds like there's a parallel conversation that you're having with Yahui or Yahui that you're having with Giddy about setting up kind of this sample, this test infrastructure. Mm -hmm. um, Sean, it sounds like you're having a conversation around single sign on. <laughs> well, and, like and we it's a test. Yeah, it's, it is a oh, test. In, so it's kind on. of the same. Oh, go ahead. So, and then it sounds like we have another um conversation too about does tell me if i'm if i'm wrong but it sounds like the sync or i'm sorry the software as a service tool is currently being developed on giddy infrastructure but at some point it would move off of giddy infrastructure to our own chaos infrastructure is that correct uh i mean uh, they provide the infrastructure uh, as a funding and uh, and in the future we we could declare that uh, this uh, uh, this service is uh, totally supported by by the chaos metrics okay. model. And uh, considering there are some um, domain uh, uh, government issue, we can discuss a little bit later about who will host this infrastructure finally, because, uh, you know, uh, uh, the gate is uh, located in China and uh, and yeah, um, how to collaborate with, uh, you know, the offside of China in this domain issue. Yeah, we need to we, consider later. I, I, I think, yeah, I think you, if um, you and I can talk about that because I've work most closely with the way that these things operate in the US. And I'm sure you're familiar with how they operate in China. And I fully believe there's a way we'll just be able to work work that out without getting in trouble with either of our countries state, you know, di dipl yes. diplomatic corps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so neither of us wants to be involved in our nation's diplomatic corps, <laughs> at least uh, not from the outside. Okay, that's great. Yeah. And also yeah. uh, to send start. And, uh, and I'll just say, I consider that one of the unfortunate parts of uh, geopolitical things because uh, this is a great working group. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what, Yuhui, what do you need from us at the moment? Uh, Actually, uh, so far, uh, I'd like to um, to making sure our metrics model could be released this year. Okay. Uh, as a you know, as a first release version, and um, in that way, this SaaS platform could declare that we are using you know the first version of chaos metrics model okay. to start working should we um can is it when do you think would be a good time yahui to say okay these are the this is the set of metrics models that we we're trying to deploy so metrics models are nearly infinite do do we want to pick a set of n yes yes we like, currently we, we we just start working uh, start trying with um Community activity because it uh, all the data is try is fetched from host platform. Mm -hmm. It's kind of easy to do so. Yeah. But the, for the future, we need to decide which part of Grim um, uh, metrics model is available uh, on the on this pla platform. So, I think I think uh, uh, before the uh, SaaS platform finally launched out this year. Uh, this is our in, in, initial plan, actually. We plan to launch out uh, this year. So 
So before that, we have decided which side of matrix model should be or could be deployed in this platform. Okay. Do do you have an idea? Like we've you how many we've built? Uh, I think I think you all built. We've got maybe two or three, and we're working on a fourth metric model. And there's probably more that I haven't even heard about yet. Yep. Yeah. We we would have more actually. Okay. In the future. Okay. Be because we would uh, have a close collaboration with you guys and uh, together with uh, with uh, some professors like Liang uh, from Nanjing University and also like Xiaoyang's output uh, in the next uh, two, or two or months. Uh, we would have more metrics model which should be available on this such platform does if we does does giddy have anything that they're particularly interested in or has that not been part of the conversation uh actually they would more care about uh they want uh, to show some metrics model help this uh, you know project owners to understand how their community is going going so before that they actually have something called gate index there they which contains a couple of metrics in there but um, um, after two years running uh, of this gate index we found that it's uh, kind of less useful for the project owners so that's why they are looking forward a new solution to help them to mirror all the different communities hosted by, by their platform. Okay. Um, and then maybe my my last question is, does Giddy have an interest in, obviously they have an interest in deploying the metrics models that come from chaos, but do they have an interest also in kind of doing doing research on how the metrics models help improve community management you know kind of a follow through so here they are but now we have yeah to yeah yeah that would be great that would be great okay. so I, that's why that's also um uh all professors from yeah from your from us and also from china they why they would like to join our community to together okay because we might want to think about i might not only about community building to help technically but then also kind of which is a one type of community building and then community building of academics who might yep. be willing to pursue. Yeah. Okay. Well, and I, th I think like, for example, the mining software repositories community, um, there's going to be a subset of those folks who would love to not have to write and maintain their own tools for, for doing this work. And, and I think this provides us an opportunity to, you know, create a, a single source or a primary source that can be trusted um for academic researchers because you know right now you read every when i read every one of those papers I, there's a big mystery about exactly how they verify the data that they're using and um i think i think one of the things we can provide is that sort of uh, canonical service mm -hmm. <clears throat> and and uh, actually uh, our uh, the initial tryout just the start from this week so of course i as i mentioned i need a lot of support from our community but uh, i i kind of need some time to list all the support like okay. uh, how to design the front end and how to communicate or progress uh, on this set, such, uh, setup and with, with with you guys with the community's members and uh, to to get more support later so so i would share uh, a kind of a new schedule of planning for for the whole thing later next or maybe next week I would share be with you guys so uh, you know one one thing that might be really helpful yuhui is to to have a discussion with um ben, venue and you and i because mm -hmm. venues between the three of us i think we'll understand what kind of hooks need to be created for a login system uh, uh -huh. inside Grimoire Lab and Augur and like I know exactly what needs to be done for Augur and we're doing it and I suspect somewhere like I don't I don't exactly know how how Grimoire Lab functions on the front end um, 
we're using API tokens, but I don't remember if um, I don't recall. I don't. I believe Grimoire Lab doesn't use a RESTful API. I believe they use direct database access for for the panels. Mm -hmm. So, but I think so. Anyway, we could come up. We could technically figure out how to do something that secures both platforms and gives people access to both platforms if we want to do that. Um, and if we want to start, if you want to just start with Grimoire Lab, I am completely cool with that as well. It's kind of what you want to do. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think um, Venu should have a pretty good idea what needs to go in front. And if he does, if he doesn't, I could make some pretty good guesses knowing what I know about um, Kibana. Okay. Yeah. And uh, actually, we have some discussion around uh, how to make in the final visualizations uh, of the result of the metrics model. Actually, we will making a converse about the Kibana visualizations. So it would uh, quickly show in at the rendering the, uh, the result with the visualizations. Because every time, if we using Kibana, it uh, would uh, Cost a lot of it's uh, anyway, it would have some performance issues. That's the suggestions from those Gaty engineers. So they have a lot of experiences to to manage this huge uh, infrastructure uh, devices. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, okay, that makes a lot of sense. I would ex okay. Then, if they know what the, I mean, yeah, um, I don't know. I've been working with DevOps people at a couple of organizations, and for the most, I mean, I can imagine that they're creating RESTful APIs mm -hmm. for around it to make it perform faster. Yeah. So anyway, we can discuss it a little bit. Um, more about this single login system after the meeting. Uh, if you already got some uh, exist solution, we can yeah. we can we, use it. I have a Google Summer of Code student working on it, um, mm -hmm. and uh, it's essentially the the key the key thing that we're doing, which the Giddy engineers may be able to do much more quickly, is because uh, they're experienced; they're not interns is just really creating that login, you know, secure authentication uh, with, we use, I think we're using SHA-256, uh, which quantum computing will destroy, but it's sufficient for now. And then we're passing a token that's auger generated to the API calls. Um, anytime we're doing operations that require you like add repos. Okay. So, we... so I met, yeah, we can do this offline. Yes. It's a different meeting for this. Yes. <laughs> so it sounds like um, maybe the most pressing action item, there are a couple. One, I think, is the discussion that's happening right now. Um, Yahui, I think if you could provide a document that specifies what you think would be needs for community development and share that, that would be good because then we can strategically think about how to build community around this. That would be wonderful. Um, and then, Liang, I'm kind of looking at you too, but you know, an action item for university people. To think about uh, how we can build research opportunities around this effort, and that would include like directed research that maybe some like yourself, Sean, might, could do with with Giddy, but also as Sean had pointed out, maybe providing data sets like standardized data sets that would be available for other people to do research against. So maybe we could talk about that. Yeah, that would yeah. be great. Yeah, and I think. The gap is the gap in my reading of the MSR literature is there is almost no verification of data accuracy in any paper, and I question the data accuracy not not because of the integrity of anyone, but because it's so hard to make sure you have all of the data. Because so yeah, I think we could provide a real service to the community that may be resisted, but I think ultimately would be useful. All right. So something like a benchmark data set. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it'd be something that we could provide, but then I think there is also an opportunity for perhaps like 
Shia Liang, Sean, myself, other professors to, to do like our own pointed research against, against this work. So one would be to provide standardized data sets for others to use, and another would be to actually build a research project um, that the people on this call actually lead. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, wow, uh, that was that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Yehui. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Yehui. <laughs> yeah, actually, we have a long discussion together with King, uh, Chen Qi, and Liang, and with uh, with the people from 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 KT. That's the our current uh, achievement uh, based on the work in the couple of weeks. Well, amazing. All right, cool. Um, so it's a, I think that's a good lead in to our next topic, which is metrics models update. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, precisely what it sounds like. And this is not the metrics model meeting. This is the Asia Pacific community call, but we do definitely talk about metrics models. Um, it looks like there's a new metrics model um, influence. Yeah, I, I put this link. Um, so uh so uh so this uh, matrix model we call it uh, influence um and it kind of contains both uh influence for community projects uh, specifically we uh, refer to project influence um like github or git repos and um developer influence uh, so i i'll explain it the reason later why we integrate them in one model uh <coughs> Yeah, um, so this is actually uh, the uh, one of the algorithm is using graph to explore um, the open source ecosystem. So this is the uh, kind of the thing that we've been, uh, we, we've, we've performed exploration for a long time. Uh, and I remembered uh, there is actually a discussion around the graph metrics very long time ago in Kels. Um, I saw it on the mailing list. I think that might be initiated by Georg and um, Beck. And uh, and it seems uh, we only ha have that one discussion, but we have thought about using graph to represent a community structure. Um, so the reason we call it influence here because um uh when we consider the influence of a, a project or a, a developer aside from uh, considering like how many followers he has on social medias or how many time how many times he was mentioned on different platforms um I, th there is a huge um um part is to consider the collaboration, how they are interconnected with each other in the uh, whole ecosystem. So uh, we kind of construct um, a graph and um, uh, if you uh, look at, yes, uh, right, this, uh, this, this graph. Uh, so the blue one, uh, you um, represent users, uh, actually developers here and R is repo. So, um, and um, like users and users, they can be connected by um, follower, follower, fo follow, a, a user can follow another user. Uh, and um, a repository can depend on an, another repository. And user and the re repository can be connected by different kinds of activities. So these are the, um, these activities are related to chaos metrics we've defined like uh, user submit issues prs uh, so uh, these are the connections um so this is actually a a graph it's a graph metric and um we use um algorithm similar to uh, centra we use a centrality algorithm that similar to page rank to calculate the value of the node and um, the value um, to our um, well, we we consider them as the influence of of a developer or a project. So this seems so, this yeah this seems this seems a not similar, but in a in a related metric model the name of which i don't recall specifically but it, it might be the one we're working on in google summer of code 
um, there's there's a weighting specified for these different relations in kind of a network or graph context. This is clearly different, but I'm wondering, um, is it is it intended to be additive? Like, would PageRank be another algorithm in this other graphic sort of graph related model or? Um, yeah, we use PageRank as uh, the calculation um, so to calculate the, the centrality of each each node. Yeah, do you remember the metric model I'm talking about where we say like for certain kinds of actions, we'll weight them certain ways? Or am I remembering a discussion I had somewhere else? You mean the conversion rate or? Yeah, conversion rate. I believe, yeah, it's in conversion rate. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Where we're actually t making decisions to weight different things. And is this, are the weightings on these edges going to be weighted in a similar way um, to conversion rate? Or is this more interested strictly in the centrality measure to determine who the most significant maintainers or contributors are? So is it kind of another part of the same network? Mm, but um, this, but this matrix model help us to find out uh, the excellent, like Ashley mentioned. Excellent, excellent uh, yeah, excellent contributors from okay. one community or a project. Okay, uh, help us to identify the guy, and uh, we need to promote this guy to have more <laughs> influence around this project areas or yeah. I completely. This is this is fantastic. I think the perhaps the, my 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 comment is more intended to point out that underneath the covers we can probably use some of the same algorithms and technology to answer this question as we're using to answer conversion rate. Yes. So that is um, the one of the concern when we want to propose uh, a metric. Because because uh, we kind of have uh, things uh, in metrics model we consider like uh, community welcomeness or uh, activity is kind of like a scenario. But what we want to propose here is actually a way that, that we aggregate different kind of information is uh, because uh, the traditional way in chaos we use count. We aggregate uh, different count of uh, different activity, but uh, another um, another way to do this is to look at it from a connection uh, network structure. So in this structure, each each activity is spread across the um, the network through links and will influence the whole ecosystem. I get it. Keep going. Yeah. So, but um, it, what we what we do want to propose is a way to to like it's actually an, a graph algorithm is is a way we do perform the calculation but uh, we kind of not very sure where to put this so we propose an influence metric model because we kind of think um, the value of the node by this calculation uh, represent the uh, the influence of a developer or a repository. 100% with you on the oh, purpose of it. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm making some technical better. notes. I'm making some technical notes in the minutes. All right. All right, cool. Um, Thanks, Shoya. What's your kind of what's your next step here? Is it to to kind of continue to work this out, or it looks like it's pretty well established? Yeah. Um, so uh, here we uh, I, I wish to discuss with the community like how we keep um, uh, keep uh, keep working on this metrics. Like, uh, yeah. will we? Will we like um, um, making the progress as an influence metric model, or we want to highlight uh, the 
method of calculation that is a graph yeah. graph matrix. So I, I'm not very sure about the way we want to do this. Gotcha. Okay. When, I, I, did you comment? Liang, did you unmute? Did you have a comment? Thank you. I thank you, Xiaoya. I think this is a very interesting work and very promising. And uh, my current suggestion is maybe uh, since we are designing a metric, so we would like to be specific on what kind of properties these this metric follow. Uh, what kind of topic? Uh, properties, mathematical properties. For example, uh, it's always a positive number or uh, what kind of uh, factors will influence influence the value of this metric in what way i think we maybe we this is uh something we need to be specific when pushing forward um so i think for example um maybe you're suggesting something like uh since the scale of these different repositories can be so different something like a z-score which compresses values between zero and one, um, yeah. and then how that's done, that might be something important to specify if I'm following your concern, though that may be the wrong example. Yeah, I, I, I think so, so, yeah, that's my suggestion. So, so it's a very general one. I, I didn't, uh, I, I do not have the technical details of how this, uh, influence will be calculated. My suggestion is uh, we need to be be sure how it varies with the how the graph changes. Like how yeah how stable of the um, the results. Um, so yeah, we, maybe. we we can provide some uh, data insights um, and discuss about it on the last meeting. Uh, because I, I don't have the, I, I, I didn't prepare, prepare that section before. Okay, I, I think it's a, very, it's a very interesting one. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd like to Thanks. say uh, the algorithm behind these calculations to say like means uh, threshold or, or, or any others like uh, weight for different factors. And also in the data insight, maybe you can you can give us like a real real world example uh, around several co uh, communities or developers uh, you can an anonymize those people but um, we would like to see the the real the real result and to see how it works that would be great sure yeah i'm personally I, i'm i'm very interested on this metrics model I hear this one a lot, particularly um, as developers are paid to work in open source, <laughs> understanding the influence of those developers within an ecosystem, um, as well as open source program offices that are releasing communities or releasing projects as open source, understanding the influence of those repositories. I mean, so both of these, all of these, <laughs> I hear regularly is very important so this is cool this is actually a very um person i think is a very promising uh, scenario uh, using models like this to maybe uh, like reward um developers do the distribution of, like funding for them because it's not like the um, a single uh, metric like star that can easily, yeah. yeah, directed in wrong ways. I agree. All right, cool. So it looks like the response to this, Shoya, is very positive. So thank you for bringing this forward. It sounds like there's a little bit of work to do, but that's that's how that's how this stuff works. <laughs> so that's cool. So thank you for that, Shoya. And Sean, thank you for adding some of your. Uh, your suggestions here as yeah. well. Yeah, thanks, Sean. Yeah, I will. Yeah. And Liang, it's thank fast. you for your comments as well. 
All right, we are, we're really just getting down to a, a minute so of time. So if we want to continue to have these conversations, Shoya, could you, I assume you're on the metrics model channel in Slack. Yeah, so we yeah. can continue that there as well. And is along okay. with some of these as well. Um, so that's, that's cool. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's really pressing in here. Oh, Sean, there's still the community welcoming this repo that could use a little TLC from a design perspective. You know I'm yeah, about? it needs to, yeah, it needs to, it needs to fit our model. Yes, and exactly. I, I've, I've got a uh, Google summer of code student that I'm going to assign to do that here in the coming weeks. Okay. I, I, I think it's ready ish. It just needs to be, isn't like, No, the metric models ready ish. It needs to yeah. be, we just need to move everything into like the JSON formats and things yes, like exactly. that. Yep. Exactly. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a developer task. And I would say I'm at, I'm nearing the end of the onboarding process for our okay. GSOC students. <laughs> Because then we can move this one up <laughs> into, the, into the ready. And I think Abs it's yeah. pretty much ready. Yeah, I do too. Okay, great. Um, and then, you know, just for everybody, as we're in progress and needs work, let's use the channel to continue to talk about this. But we'll obviously meet up next Tuesday, Wednesday to really kind of to talk about these. Um, I just did really want to say that ChaosCon Europe um, has the submissions have been accepted. So that's in Dublin, Ireland, in in the fall. Um, don't know if any of you can make it, but it would be great if you could be there. And um, so anyway, I just wanted to keep you posted kind of as, as that's moving forward. So we have a nice, nice group of people who are be, be presenting. So, all right, we are one minute over time. So thank you. This has been an amazing conversation again, as it always is. Um, yeah, likewise. Thank good you. Good to talk to everyone. Good to Bye. see everybody again. Bye. Okay. Right. Take Talk care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.